Hey guys, I thought I would share this week's grocery haul because I'll have two recipes out of it for you. And I know you guys like those. So we've got some carrots for my husband to snack on. I needed a backup of frozen broccoli. I always try to keep green beans and broccoli on hand. Um, some bananas, some lunch meat. And I've shown this before, but this is the one that I like to get because it has the no artificial ingredients, preservatives, no added hormones. Um, no nitrates, no gluten, all that stuff. So, and then we got some different soups and stuff to have on hand. I've also made some soups. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw I made a cauliflower soup. And this time of year, I start making my own more. Um, but I always, again, like to have backup. I don't know if you guys have tried these new ones from Campbell's. This is a different one. I've not tried the black bean with red quinoa, but these are pretty good. We tried, I think, a, um, I don't know if it was a lentil with something that was good, but I didn't see that they had it this time. So I'm going to make my chili. I've had that recipe on the blog for many, many years. Um, it's probably one of my most viewed um, things on Pinterest and the blog. So, and it's, if you want to search for it, it's just under fall chili, but I'll link the recipe for you below. So I needed some chili beans some kidney beans and of course these are the soup i needed one more can of fire roasted tomatoes because i already had one on hand you don't have to get the fire roasted um i just started getting these a couple years ago when they came out with these if you're curious to know what other soups we got i think we just got two lentils yeah and then I'm going to make the um, Salsa Verde soft tacos in the crock pot. This is the one I'm going to try to write out a recipe. There's not a lot to it, but I get so many questions about it. We're going to actually have this before this video goes live. So I'll, I'll make sure I write up a recipe. Um, but it's in the crock pot. It's really easy. So if you're looking for just an easy recipe that everybody loves, um, this one's a good one needed some ground turkey for the chili and I mentioned that I think in the recipe but I always use ground turkey of course if you want ground beef you can do that but we always do ground turkey my husband needed some soap this is the kind he likes I did get some Fritos for the chili because we usually like that and I ended up getting uh, the Dawn the clear because I normally use the regular Dawn um, but recently I went to the doctor and had some tests and oddly enough I'm allergic I guess or slightly allergic sensitive to blue number one dye and yellow number five so got that and then I had, was talking with Kristen Game and I know she loves this foundation so I wanted to try it out I got it in the shade 203 which is nude beige this is one shade higher than she wears but I've been self tanning so I was thinking this may match me a little bit better let me know if you guys have tried this I know this is a pretty popular one we also went to Sprouts and we got some blue corn chips and I got some of these the other day. I don't know if they were the, what brand were they were, but they were a popular brand and now it escapes me, but they were the organic blue corn chips and they were nice and thin and crispy. They were so good because a lot of blue corn chips are really thick and we don't like that. So we thought we would try these. And while I was getting blue corn chips is again, uh, white corn oddly enough came up that that was something that I was sensitive to. So trying some different things. Needed an onion and a green pepper for the chili. So speaking of like tortillas and things, I wanted to try these. Um, these are purple corn tortillas. So um, I've never had these, but they looked really good and they were nice and soft. You know how a lot of all the different kinds of variations um, other than normal won't be that soft. So I wanted to try those. And then this is the bread we normally get. So I got that. Even though I do show that I have a sensitivity to gluten, this is like okay in small amounts. And this has never bothered me like some other breads or pastas or things may. So in moderation, like I've still been doing, I don't eat a lot of bread and gluten, you guys know. Uh, already so my battery is dying I better hurry up chicken for uh, the crock pot the shrimp we like this because we can get this brand from the Gulf um, of Mexico at Walmart we just like to have backups my husband needed some apple cider vinegar and some vitamins and some tea this is the tea he's liking right now I've shown this before this is my multivitamin and the um, new doctor recommended this too so if you feel a cold or flu coming on, so we got this just to have on hand. 
She also recommended these papaya enzymes with chlorophyll to take at meals. So I'm going to do that. It's kind of like digestive support with some a whole bunch of other supplements I'm taking now. And then this is for my husband. Um, we've also taken enzymes off and on, but this one has the ox bile in it, which I know is good if you do not have your gallbladder. So he's gonna start taking that. And that is this week's grocery haul. Oh, and this little protein blend, I've shown that before. So thank you guys so much for watching and look for the recipes in the description box and we'll see you next time. Bye.